Here's a question that will help you review how the solubility of a compound can be altered. We're asked to consider a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide, and we're given its solubility equilibrium equation here. Various things are added to the saturated calcium hydroxide solution, and we're asked to fill in the table to show what would happen. Pause the video now and try to fill this on your own first, and then resume the video. We'll start with KO8, which is an alkali metal compound, so it dissociates completely into K plus and OH minus ions. K plus is a spectator ion, so we omit it. So adding KOH will initially increase the concentration of OH minus, so we can write this in here. There's no initial change in the concentration of CA2 plus. Increasing the concentration of OH minus will cause the equilibrium to shift to the left which would produce more solid and decrease the solubility of calcium hydroxide. Next we'll look at aqueous sodium oxalate. Sodium oxalate, an alkali metal compound, dissociates completely into sodium and oxalate ions. Sodium ions are spectators, so we can discard them. The oxalate ion, C2O4-2- is a negative ion, so we can see if it forms a precipitate with positive calcium ions. Looking on the KSP table, we see that calcium oxalate has a low KSP. This means the oxalate ion does form a precipitate with the Ca2 plus ions. This would initially decrease the concentration of Ca2 plus. There's no initial change in the hydroxide ion concentration. Decreasing the concentration of Ca2 plus will cause the equilibrium to shift to the right. A shift to the right will increase the solubility of calcium hydroxide. Next we'll look at aqueous calcium iodide. Calcium iodide is soluble and dissociates into calcium and iodide ions. This would cause an initial increase in the concentration of calcium ions. So we'll write that increase here. There's no initial change in the concentration of hydroxide ions. An initial increase in the concentration of calcium ions would cause the equilibrium to shift to the left, which would cause the solubility of calcium hydroxide to decrease. Remember, this is called the common ion effect. The low solubility compound CaOH2 and the added salt CaI2 have the calcium 2 plus ion in common. Next we'll consider adding heat or increasing the temperature. Adding heat will have no initial effect on the concentration of calcium ions or on the concentration of hydroxide ions. Because the heat term is on the left side of the equation, adding heat will cause the equilibrium to shift to the right. A shift to the right will cause the solubility of calcium hydroxide to increase. Next we'll consider the addition of aqueous magnesium nitrate. Like all nitrate compounds, magnesium nitrate is soluble so it dissociates into magnesium and nitrate ions. Nitrate ions are spectators, so we can discard them. Now we have to check and see if the positive magnesium ions form a precipitate with negative hydroxide ions that are in the solution. Looking on the KSP table, we see that magnesium hydroxide has a low KSP, so this means magnesium ions do form a precipitate with hydroxide ions. The magnesium ions will react with some of the hydroxide ions and cause their concentration to decrease. Adding magnesium nitrate would have no initial effect on the concentration of calcium ions. Decreasing the hydroxide ion concentration will cause the equilibrium to shift to the right. A shift to the right will increase the solubility of calcium hydroxide. Next we'll consider the addition of aqueous HNO3, which is called nitric acid. Nitric acid, HNO3, is a strong acid, so it completely ionizes into H plus and nitrate ions. Nitrate ions are spectators, so we can discard them. Nitric acid supplies H plus ions, and it is known that H plus ions react with OH minus ions to form water, as shown by the net ionic equation inside the yellow arrow. The reaction of H plus with OH minus is called neutralization. H plus is an acid and OH minus is a base. This will use up hydroxide ions and make their concentration decrease. There will be no initial change in the concentration of calcium ions. Again, decreasing the concentration of hydroxide ions will cause this equilibrium to shift to the right. 
which will cause the solubility of calcium hydroxide to increase. Lastly, we'll consider adding solid calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide has low solubility, so it does not release any significant amount of any ions to the solution. The solution we've been considering is a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide. Solids have a constant concentration. Increasing the amount of a solid will not change its concentration. So adding solid calcium hydroxide to the solution will not cause any shift in the equilibrium. Therefore, adding solid calcium hydroxide will not change the solubility of calcium hydroxide. So we finished the question. It would be a good idea to pause the video and copy the screen, as this table could come in handy for review.